Lindy with Designer Accessory Adoption. Thanks for watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for giving my channel a try. I typically love videos covering topics related to vintage, secondhand, unboxings, as well as lifestyle videos. So if any of those items that I've mentioned or topics are interesting to you, definitely consider subscribing. And if you're enjoying this, please give me a thumbs up. And to my folks who are subscribers, or even if you're not a subscriber and you've seen a previous video, thank you for watching and sticking with me. Today's video will be over the Fashion House Etro. So I thought these would be good options. Definitely let me know if you've seen any of these in person, if you own an Etro handbag or are considering it. I would love to see that in the comments down below, especially you people that may own or have seen one in person. I have never seen an Etro handbag in person, so I'm going off of photos. They look beautiful. They're standout statement pieces, and they look like they're great quality, but, you know, until you see it in person, you don't know, so definitely let me know if you have. All right, so we're going to go down the list, and I have seven picks that I would purchase from this fashion house. I think they're cool. I think they're statement pieces, and I think they're great items that can stick around for a while and definitely allow you to highlight your personality or let that bag be kind of the statement piece of your outfit. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. A little bit of history about Etro before we go head on, and that's gonna be uh, just to help uh, a few folks out. I love hearing about fashion history, so I'm hoping you do too. And they were founded in 1968. They are an Italian brand and Italian, and they were start <laughs> they are an Italian family owned company. I think they're still family owned if I remember correctly. Correct me down below if that's not right. But uh, it was started by Gerlambo, hopefully I have said that name correctly, and Etro. And when I looked it up on Wikipedia, I wanna say it was, I did see it said like key members and they had four and they all, four members and they had um, key members of the company and they listed four people and all of their last names were Etro. So I'm assuming that they are still owned by their family owned, which is pretty cool if that's the case. Also, the Fashion House is very well known for their Paisley pattern. I seem to gravitate towards Paisley. I really like it. I think it's one of those classic patterns that never really goes out of style. And so that pattern was actually first produced by the Fashion House in the 1980s. I think it was 1981. So they were well known and still use that classic Paisley pattern. And you can see it all over their clothing as well as on their handbags to, uh, at today, actually. All right, so let's get into it. The first one is going to be, out of my picks, is going to be the embroidered jewel jewel rainbow shoulder bag. And I'll throw up a photo. This one is a beautiful piece. It's a perfect standout piece. My only, I'm not in love with the fact that the strap cannot be removed. I feel like the strap is more on the casual side, which that's okay, but I feel like I don't know, I have a thing for a removable strap, so I wish the strap was removable. And actually, I would possibly consider taking the strap off since I have a lot of other straps and it has the rings on the side. So that is an option where you can cut that strap off and basically kind of tailor it so that way you can reattach it and then also switch out your strap, your other straps for this one too. But I think this is a great, perfect standout piece. It's a top flap closure and it is organized on the inside because it does have segments. So it looks like a great option. Beautiful bag, perfect standout piece where people would be asking you kind of what is that handbag? Where did you get it from? So I think this is a great option. Let me know your thoughts. Um, next up is going to be the geometric leather print bag. All right, so this really cool piece, as you can see from the photo, is just, you know, <laughs> It's a statement bag all on its own. I like that there are neutral colors that have been used. So that way you can mix and match this with some solid colors and just let this bag shine. I love the unique print and pattern. I think it's a perfect piece that will definitely turn heads every time you pull it out. And I think you, I mean, definitely you have to be kind of careful with patterns. Maybe certain patterns will work with it, but this is definitely a person who wears a lot of neutrals as, as well as a lot of solids. I think you could definitely 
find this one rotating through your wardrobe. They have a couple of styles of this one. So this is the larger size. They have a couple of other prints that I saw on the website. I like the top handle style, the flap closure, but most of all, that print is amazing. I think it's really cool. Let me know what you think. All right, so next up on the list is going to be the laser studded Pegaso, Pegaso, sorry, Pegaso bag. And this one is really cool. I love the pattern. I love the studs. This is a great standout piece too. And as you've seen from the list so far, these are all statement bags. I also find that the shape is very classic of the ones that I'm picking. So I feel like they don't seem trendy because they're just kind of all on their own with a unique design. So they're perfect. And as long as you love that design, you can carry this year after year after year. This one's gonna be the same as that rainbow bag that I talked about initially where the straps cannot be removed. So I don't love the straps, but I do really love the handbag shape. It's really cool. Saddlebag, you can't go wrong with that. Let me know your thoughts. All right, so next up, which this one's going to be number four on the list, and this is the Pega Pega <laughs> Pegaso, <laughs> hopefully I'm saying that correctly, Paisley crossbody and if you go to the extra website which i will link down below and also will have links to each of these bags that i'm talking about they have multiple sizes of this one so i love that they are using the paisley print they're using their logo which is the basically the flying horse <laughs> and then they're also so they're mixing in that vintage vibe which it looks kind of classic vintage yet fresh and new all at the same time so i really love how they added that um, pattern and kept that historic piece in there, but made it relevant to today's times and style. So I do really like this one. I think it's a cool piece. They do have it in solid, solid leather is what I was about to say, but they have it in a full leather bag as well. And definitely credit to and shout out to Mel Sodera. I'm sure you have seen her channel before and she actually has one of these in the lighter color, I believe it is, or it's the one with the top handle. I can't remember exactly, but she did mention she had this and she showed it. And that's also what reminded me, yeah, you you looked at Etro earlier this year. Um, so that's what's inspired me also to do this video because I wanted to share more from the fashion house because I feel like nobody's talking about this fashion house. And you know, Everybody doesn't want the same handbags from the same people and you wanna kind of mix and match it up a little bit. So this is a great way to do it. Perfect segue into, we're pretty much midway through this video. So I did wanna definitely make sure that I'm thanking you if you're watching at this point. Thank you so much for sticking around and you obviously have liked something. You're enjoying the content at least or something. <laughs> maybe my backdrop, maybe my voice. I don't know, but whatever it is, definitely please give me a thumbs up and I encourage you to definitely subscribe. I load videos every Wednesday at 8 p.m. as well as every other Saturday at 8 a.m. So definitely come on over and join the designer accessory adoption team and commercial has stopped. All right, so let's move on. Last two on the list, so I guess we could say we were more than halfway through. <laughs> I was more than halfway through the video, but whatever. So next up is going to be the graphic print crossbody bag. All right, so this one is a standout piece. It definitely screams summer, but I think I would probably try to be bold enough to carry this year round. I love all of the colors. It's a fun, vibrant, statement piece bag. It kind of reminds me of, and I don't even remember the pattern, but Tori Birch does something like this in the summertime, I want to say it is. And I've always, I've liked it. I've never bought it, but I've definitely been attracted to it. Same thing here. It's the perfect, you know, boxy structure, top flap bag, but it has that beautiful pattern, that beautiful print. Definitely will steal the show and turn head. So this is a great one to pick from too. And I really like the pattern on this one. So I really like, um, yeah. I already said really like probably about 15 times. So what <laughs> I will move on, but I think this is a great option, great statement piece to carry as well from the fashion house. And last up is going to be the dream catcher suede. I thought that said stud. I can't read my own handwriting. So this was going to be the dream catcher. And when I looked at this bag, it does remind you of, and there are several from the fashion house that they actually have on their website that kind of give you that, Native American, um, maybe Aztec vibe to it is really cool and I really like it and I think they did it well. 
And so this is one of those. And it, it reminds me when you see the name of it, you think, oh, yeah, I feel like it definitely does look like a dream catcher and reminds you of those dream catcher. I remember I had some dream catcher earrings when I was like in elementary school. I think it was. But I think this is a really cool shape. I mean, it's a hobo style. I'm not necessarily a full fan of suede, but I think they do it very well with this style bag. And I like the tassels on it. I think it's unique enough to where it still will, will remain a kind of classic type of style that you can continue to wear throughout your life. And also it's it's perfect enough where it's it's muted. It's not, you know, very vibrant. It doesn't scream, doesn't have a lot of patterns, but at the same time, there's something that draws your eyes to it because it's a unique shape and a unique style and the embellishments on it are pretty cool too. And it's it's simply a tassel, but it's just the way that they crafted it and put it together, I think it works well. So definitely let me know which one of the six bags that I went over would you definitely consider buying. And I would love to see your thoughts down below. Also, quick reminder, if you have seen these bags in person or etro period, if you've seen them in person, and been able to kind of feel the craftsmanship and see what they look like, definitely please let me know and throw those in the comments below. I would love to see your thoughts. Like I mentioned earlier, I have not seen these in person, but the photos of these bags look amazing. And unfortunately on some of them, you can't see the interior of some of them because some of these websites just don't do a great job. Etro included. <laughs> they don't do a great job of showing you the full aspect of the, the, the bag, which is the interior, the bottom, all sides. So definitely do better with that. But um, I would love to see what they look like and also see what they, if anybody has had experience with them in person. So this is going to be the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you again another day, whether that's Wednesday or Saturday. Have a good day. Bye.